We, uh, uh, tick by tick, are keeping an eye on the oil charts here. Oil is set for its biggest weekly gain in a month, as Bank of America Merrill Lynch predicts. <laughs> Cover the children's ears. There's a risk of a hundred dollar per barrel oil by next year. Right now we're at seventy one forty three. So as higher oil prices are set to hit consumer wallets at the pump, higher jet fuel prices may also impact your summer budget. According to the Air Transport Association, jet fuel prices have jumped forty six and a half percent over the last fifty two weeks to an average of eighty nine dollars thirty cents per barrel. But what about the private jet and the smaller jet companies like FlexJet, which offers charter and fractional ownership options? How do they deal with the rising fuel costs and the tension in the air over the Middle East? In a Fox Business exclusive, we bring in the chairman of private jet operator FlexJet, Ken Rickey. Well, to, to the news at hand. You still have private jets flying over the airspace in the Middle East right well, now? Well, you know what happens in these environments is there's very big restrictions. And when this happens, they'll narrow the corridors. And uh, there's alerts that come out, and we're very attentive to that. But there's no risk taken, for sure. You served both in the military. Yes. And then you became a private jet pilot before you started FlexJet. I did. Um, the fact that there are missiles right now flying from Iran into Israel and then Israel responding... But they've got every right to respond. As, as both a military and a businessman in the uh, private aviation industry, what goes through your mind? Well, I don't think instability is good for anything. I think we need a stable world, and I, you know, let's get back to stability. But you, you, you have to put, I mean, you can't let them just do this. No, absolutely yeah. not. Um, jet fuel, are you hedging? How do you do that at a flex jet? You know, it's different. We're different than an airline. An airline fuel, that, that's a huge cost of their operation. In the private jet business, our costs are really more around the aircraft, the pilots, the ownership of the plane. The fuel is a small portion, but, you know, we're not, we're not confused. When fuel jet prices go up, people just don't travel as much, and costs do rise. Are you seeing any impact in your business right now? There's a lag time for us. I think the airlines, the, the, the uh, impact is immediate, but in the private jet world, that, that kind of is a three or four month delay. So we would feel that impact in the summer sometime. Give us a sense of what a customer gets when they pick up the phone and call you and say, I need to get from New York to L.A. Uh, then what is the process? Well, then it's like, what time do you want to leave? I mean, that's exactly what do. Imagine this as a, as, a, as a country club where you're a member and you call up and there's very few members. So when you say, I want to tee off at two o'clock, you're on the tee at two o'clock. So okay. that's how we think about it. We're a club that people join pay to belong a member for just that immediacy. And what would that flight cost for a member? You know, it's variable by, mm -hmm. it's variable by aircraft size. We have moved to the much larger aircraft, but they, they we usually price them in hours, and uh, those airplanes can run a couple $3,000 an hour to start, and they move up from there. Yesterday, I moderated a panel at the Town and Country Philanthropy Summit. You, you were on my panel, job. and you've just donated $100 million to Notre Dame, unrestricted. Mm -hmm. So you didn't even say you got to use it for this, this, or this. That's highly unusual. Very generous, too. Well, I think there were two things. One is that if you believe in an institution, let them. You don't know what needs they're going to have down the road, so don't restrict what they may want to do yeah. in the future, number one. And I think there's a, there's a certain amount of when we did a gift that size. We wanted to make sure it was a little bit humbling, and that wasn't about us. Yeah. It was about the institution. Oh, how unusual. <laughs> it's not about you. Uh, you've just announced you're opening a new terminal at Love Field in, in uh, Texas. Yes. Uh -huh. We have these private terminals. We have them in Naples, Florida, West Palm Beach. We have a Teterboro and White Plains. So you hiring? You, uh, we are hiring. We're hiring about 160 pilots. We've had about a 25% employee growth. We took a risk to go into the international market about three years ago, and that has really paid off. We used to be more of a localized company within the U.S., and now we've gone much more international. And so we're hiring to fulfill those needs. Folks, he was a pilot and thought, maybe I can do this business better, mm -hmm. and uh, he has. Good to see you, Ken. Good to Thank see you. you. It's a pleasure. Ken Rickey of FlexJets. Thanks.